Hi everybody, Cindy Ellers here from Cindy Stamping Studio. I thought I was going to have some technical difficulties when I first started, but it appears to be okay now. And I'll just find myself on my Kindle and wait for some people to hop in. Today is Monday, April 24th, 2023. There we go. There I am. I'm live. Good. Whew. I was a little bit nervous. Rita Jacoby is watching. That's wonderful. So glad to see you. And when it first when it first um came on, it flashed. And I thought, oh no. What you know, you always um cringe. When you first hit the that button that you don't want it to have difficulties. Oh, there's Linda and Lori Hall. There's Lisa Souza. Nice to see you again, Lisa. I saw Lisa today when I delivered her uh, class to go kit. Those the class uh, kit classes tomorrow night for the local people. But if you're still interested, there are a few kits left few kits available so get in touch with me and we can fix you right up there's karen halterman and patty weed weed is watching julie marson well so nice to see you and i'm so happy that you're all just chiming right in and saying hi and don't forget to say hi and um share if you have time and um it helps me so much. That's how more and more people find out about me and tune in on a Monday night. And I realize, I realize Mondays aren't always the best, but that's what day I picked and it's, it works. You can always watch the replay if you don't have time to tune in. So that's a good thing. To, also, K-Wire is watching. That's great. Um, Let's see. What do we have going on? I just said the class to go in kit class. Um, the new catalog, new annual catalog for Stamping Up goes live next Thursday, May 4th. Can you believe April is almost done? It just seems like yesterday, right? But yeah, it's May is almost done and I've, oh, come on. Almost done. Oh, just a sec. I've, oh, come there. You don't need to hear echo, but I always like to put me on my laptop because I can't always trust my Kindle. Sometimes it's naughty. There's Ronnie Kayser. Welcome. Nice to see you. And Kathy Brost. Yes, it's awesome to see the sun, right? Where were you this morning? It was snowing like crazy this morning. The ground was white. The roof was white. We went, had a run to town, and when we got home, the sun came out, and it all melted. But it's just like shaking those clouds out one more time, right? Just like you think it's over with, and it's not. Okay, let's talk about the paper share. I have my notes floating around in here. Just a second. Paper share. Okay, 102 sheets, 6 by 6 sheets. For thirty dollars, um, it's every single paper that's in the new annual catalog that's going live next Thursday. The first paper share I am happy to report is sold out, but I'm more than willing to do a second paper share if I can get eight ladies. So if you're interested, send me an email, leave me a message personal message. I don't, I do look at every comment that you guys make, but what if I miss something? There's Jeannie Mullen. Good evening to you too. So if you're interested in the paper share, like I said, I'm more than happy to do a second one, but I need eight people to commit. For those of you that have committed already, um, send me your check for $30, unless you're going to see me like tomorrow night at kit class. And um, then you don't have to. But send me your check 
I can go and send you a personal mess. I will be sending a personal message to those of you who have signed up. So, you know, with my address and stuff. Well, hi, Tracy. Nice to see you too. Put that in my to-do pile. Okay. With the new annual catalog that's coming out and the color refresh, we have a lot of cardstock. No, let me rephrase that. Cindy has a lot of cardstock that will be retiring. So if you try to order a certain color of cardstock that's retiring, get in touch with me. I have quite a few unopened um, packages of cardstock, which I'll advertise next week. Can't even advertise it next week. Well, I'll advertise it as soon as I can. But you can always send me a message and say, Hey, do you have a package of... And there's a good chance that I probably do. This past weekend, my little sweethearts came to visit. And um, they helped me pull all of my retired stamp sets. I now have a whole shelf empty that all retired. And then I, I keep the ones I like and get the other ones ready to sell. Um, Andy also cleaned me out of retired single sheets of cardstock. You know, like a package was opened, so she just took them all, which is fine. I, I um, told her she could, but I have unopened packages that I didn't let her take. So... Just wanted you to know. I'm going to turn that camera around just shortly. But before I do, let's do drug prizes. And for comments, I have a five-card kit, um, a five-card um, pack of cards. <laughs> there. Get I have a five-pack card of kits that I'm going to send to Sally Becker from Wisconsin. Sally's not watching tonight because she went to a ball game instead, but she'll watch later. So, Sally, your card kit, your pack of cards will be in the mail tomorrow. Sally doesn't stamp, but she likes to watch my Monday night Facebook Live, and that's wonderful. I appreciate it so much. So, ever whenever um, I pull her name... I sent her a card pack. What's my, uh, Lori Hall asks, what's your favorite retiring stamp set? Well, I have to think about that. Oh, there is one. And I told Andy I wouldn't, I wouldn't let her take it because I like that stamp set. Hmm, I have to think about it. It might be, it might be Forever Fern. I really like that set, but and I didn't let Andy take it. Yeah, that's a very good, I think it's Field um, Forever Fern. That'd be my favorite. If you said, what's my all-time favorite stamp set from Stamping Up? Lovely Like a Tree. So, okay. Oh, Debbie Vine's watching. Karen Halterman, I said hi to her already. Oh, Patty Weeb. That's so nice that you congratulate Sally. She's a, actually is a cousin of mine. So, found me on Facebook and then started watching my classes. So, how nice is that? Now, for Sherry. Sherry Martin, I'm sending you these adhesive snowflakes, which is fitting, I guess, because we can't seem to get spring. But... I got these, this um, embellishment card I'm going to send to Sherry Martin, and she's also from Wisconsin. Okay, let me put that there. Let me flip my camera. And now you can see outside it's overcast. Most of the snow has melted, thank goodness. Oh, do it right like that. And let's raise this like this. I got these beautiful veterans 
card cards in the mail today and I I had to look up the address because I didn't know for sure who it was from, but it's from our own Patty Weed. And I got 12 gorgeous red, white, and blue cards. I don't think there's any one that is alike. And I just want you to know, Patty, oh, those two are alike. I appreciate it so much. 12 of them she sent me. Isn't that nice? And so now I'm up to 98 cards. And um, if there's anybody else that wants to send me um, a pack of cards, red, white, and blue, keep the insides empty and no envelopes. And I am taking them in for one more month. And don't forget, if you come to class, bring your cards for me. If you want to send them to me, it wasn't that expensive. It's under $3 to send me 12 cards. So I didn't think that was so bad. But I'm up to 98 cards now. So that is wonderful. So tonight's stamp set that we're going to say goodbye to is... Yes, Lori. They are wonderful. There's no two cards are alike. And, you know, really, Pacific Point is retiring, so that's a great way to use up retiring card stock if you want. Or, I mean, if they are red, white, and blue, thank you cards. They don't have to be military style at all. Okay, stamp set, lovely you. That is retiring, which is kind of sad. Makes me sad that I didn't use it very much, but I didn't. I don't know why. I think because I'm not clever enough to use when there's only like half a sentence. But I think I did pretty good coming up with tonight's card. Okay, so here's our packet. We are using Highland Heather. Is our base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, and scored at four and a quarter. And it will be an up and down card. Well, you're very welcome, Eddie, and I appreciate you going to all the trouble to make these cards, and they are going for a good cause. So here's our card base. We'll just set him aside. So I took my color coach and I honestly use this. This is my old one. I haven't had time to print out a new one yet, but I'm going to print a new one. And I did mention it before. If you would like me to send you the PDF file so that you can print your own color coach, just pop me an email and um, I will send that to you. My address is buddy98 at yahoo.com. B-U-D-Y-9-8 at Yahoo. Okay, so I used my color coach, and I really, I, Knight of Navy looks pretty nice on my layer. So, okay, we are going to be using um, the Fancy Floral Designer Series paper. Now, this card is a wonderful way... Um, to use up scraps of designer paper. We're also going to use, and the sizes are two by two and a half. Yep, two by two and a half, all of these. So what we're going to do is, first we're going to put this one right there. And then we're going to put this one right there. And I would really recommend, when you make a card like this, that you lay it out before you actually glue it down. Just to make sure it's all the right size. And this is how our card is going to look. Okay, so everything fits pretty good. Okay, so I can go ahead and glue it down. And what's really nice is... Well, like I said, great way to use up scraps, that's for sure. But also, 
um, it's so core, you know, stamping up's paper is so coordinating that you can just have one piece that's two by five and be able to make a card with it. I really think I'm going to make more than one card because this turned out so nice. I just got to find more time to do it. That's my problem. There's Courtney and Denise. No better light than never is exactly right. We're using Lovely You stamp set. Okay, I just printed that. Let me put that aside. And I have two little pieces. Okay, the ink we're using. Balmy Blue, Night of Navy, Petal Pink, and Highland Heather. And even though Petal Pink is not my favorite, I'm forcing myself to use it. And I actually, it's starting to grow on me. So, there's that. Okay, so we're going to take our first one. Let's take our Highland Heather. And the first stamp I'm going to use is this cute little flower. And I will put that right here. Just like that. Oh, that, that turned out nice. I went and, um, I went and re-inked my ink pad. It's getting kind of dry. And then we're going to get the balmy blue out. Oh, I have to have my scrubber because I have to use my flower again. There. Okay, so let's get the balmy blue out. Shared so I can watch from the beginning. Oh, yeah. I want, I tried to buy this stamp set and it's gone. Well, you know, Denise. I tried to, there was something I tried to buy and it was gone already. It's like, wow. So you're not the only one. I had a customer. She wanted to buy a stamp set that had dies. Now she could have bought the dies, but the stamp set's out already, which I thought it was sad. That, you know, but I'm sure there's a lot of people, I've done it myself, that don't buy the the bundle. You know, they only buy part. Okay, so now we're going to put that there. Might as well do that. Which one was it? Can't remember. Okay. Oh, yes, it was a lot of giggling going on this weekend with the kids being here. Easton was busy putting, I put stickers on my stamp sets that are retired. So Easton was putting retired on my stamp sets. Andy was pulling the stamp sets. And all oh, that one time. And she does it, you know. I, I said to her, what do they teach you in school? She says, well, obviously not very much, because I like my stamp sets in alphabetical order, right? What was she doing? A, B, C, D, E, F, you know, singing the song. I says, don't you know your ABCs without singing the song? Well, it's hard. What a silly girl. And then Easton, he did something silly. I can't remember. He was pretending he was a soldier, putting the stickers on. I looked at Andy. She looked at me, and she says, you know what? There are times I don't even know how we could possibly be related. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to put this one there. And no problem that there's a gap there. You, you could go and make the card without the gap. But I... Did that on purpose, like that. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to use some soon-to-be-retiring pale papaya ribbon. 
So we're going to go and put that there. Need my snips. Just like so. And I'm going to put this right here. And it will be a cheater's knot because, as you know, or if you didn't know, I'm telling you now, but Cindy doesn't, I very seldom ever tie bows. So there's that. And there's going to be that. I'm just going to put that aside for now. Because I want to glue that there. Hopefully, we get spring pretty soon. So I can get out and start raking my flower beds. Because I see my hostas are poking through already. There. I couldn't believe it. Okay. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Well, just hang on. I will do that. But first of all, we're going to be using the flat pearls. And I'm using my dark balmy blue. And I'm going to color it. You can't tell it. But once I put it on the card, then you can see a hint of color. Okay. All right. Just let that be for a bit. Let's take our little scrap. And I slide it under here. My stamping ladies always laugh at me when I say, yeah, you know me. I don't, I don't go and um, tie, I don't tie bows. Some of them can, some of them are way better than I am in the bow tying department. But some of them are just like me. There, I'll cut that a little bit more. There, that's good. So it's snug. There. Oh, it's supposed to snow? It's supposed to rain here. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow and Wednesday, possibly Thursday, and then it's supposed to cool down and possible snow showers and or um, rain. Oh, we don't need any more. I'm done. I'm over that. Okay. I'm going to go and take my strip. And place that on my inside piece. Let's cut this. Alrighty. Whoops. And let's get our Knight of Navy out again for my greeting. So it said just because on the front so for the inside I'm putting putting miles apart but still in my heart I thought that was a nice one I love the font and how nice this stamps alrighty If anybody else is interested in the stamp of the month, our stamp of the month was Pansy Patch. And I have it right here. I'll be able to show you the cards, but I just finished the last card today for the kits. And this is a carryover. I did not use a retired stamp set. And so I got the cards done. I got to type up the directions. I'll get them out in the mail this week. Okay, so there's that. Let us, let us 
put a blue you can see the difference now I think it just turned out really nice there that turned out it turned out so cute I just love this card I love the technique of using a couple of um, pieces of designer series paper to make your makes you know something different let me cut there so yeah this card turned out great there's the inside and now I got this in the mail this last week and I forgot that I did not think nothing of it. I thought, what could Stamping Up be sending me? Right? I didn't think nothing of it. I hit 100000 in sales. I'm so excited about that. And they sent me the pin with my, with my gem. So, yeah. Yes. Thank you, everybody. It is a lovely card. And I'll put this right here. It can share the spotlight. But yeah, it's a beautiful card. Um, it was a great scrap user, Patty. And thank you, everybody, for the congrats. I was just reading the congratulations. And I wasn't going to say anything. I thought, oh, why not? It's something to be proud of. I worked awfully hard to get to that point. So, yeah, so everybody, take care, have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you next Monday night. Now, we'll have one more retired stamp set, and then we get to start playing with new stuff. So, okay, have a great week, everybody. Take care. Thank you.